Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Carsten and a couple of years back I lost my complete vinyl and uh, CD collection. So uh, right now I'm trying to re-establish it. But this decided not to buy any vinyls anymore. So now it's all these CDs. So let's see what I've been buying in April 2021. But first I will introduce you to this, which is uh, American Graffiti, uh, the DVD. Actually it's a, uh, the movie from 1973 by George Lucas and produced by Francis Ford Coppola. In this you'll find a very young Richard Dreyfuss, uh, Harrison Ford and Ron Howard, so later became a very good uh, director. Um, this is to me the masterpiece of George Lucas. So even though we don't have to talk about DVDs, I actually went out and bought this, the soundtrack from the movie that includes a lot of hits from late 50s, early 70s, 60s. And of course the, the comments by Wolfman Jack like in the movie. So my taste in music uh, is broad I think so I bought a lot of uh, a lot I bought four CDs from country music first one here is keep on rocking by Confederate Railroad and then I bought this one Lindy and Bellum need you now I think it's a quite good album I've always been a fan of Trisha Yearwood, so I bought this one where you wrote leads, where she sings to do it with Garth Brooks. And I got this one very, very cheap. Rika McIntyre's Greatest Hits, and The Grand Old Lady of Country Music. So, um, in uh, April, uh, Jim Steinman died. So I went out and bought this Bad For Good, his solo album. Uh, I tried to find uh, uh, Meatloaf uh, uh, Bad Out of Hell 3, but I haven't been able to find it for a reasonable price yet. But anyhow, uh, this is uh, Jim Steinman's solo album. It was supposed to be a follow up on Bad Out of Hell with Meatloaf, but Meatloaf had problems with his voice at that time. So the, the record company asked Jim Steinman to, to do it by himself. Now, after that, I went out and bought this one, uh, the band's The Last Walls. Actually, it's a, a fantastic album. He has a lot of uh, guest performance on the vocal side, like Ronnie Hawkins, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, Neil Diamond, Dr. John, uh, Marty Waters, Eric Clapton is here. You got Van Morrison, Bob Dylan, Emma Lou Harris. So it's a great album. I saw that concert, not live, but I saw it in a movie theater in Denmark, and uh, I really liked it. So I've been on the hunt for this for quite a while. Now I found it for a reasonable price. And it's a thing, it's a good buy. And then I bought a CD from my native country with a band from my native country, let's put it that way. The Fall Beat, uh, Let's Boogie, which is their concert in Copenhagen, the live concert where also they got a guest performance by uh, Lars Ulrich from Metallica on when they play uh, the uh, Metallica number. Into the Sandman. That's a great album. Then some Southern Rock. This is um, Ghost Riders uh, and Playing to Win by Outlaws. Um, took two of their early albums, but two, I think, decent albums. Now, um, here's one more concert that I've seen on 
on television. It was the live concert from Central Park with Simon and Garfunkel, and I, I still think it's a fantastic uh, concert. You got all their um, hits, so to speak, like Miss Robinson, America, Homeward Bound, Scarper Affair, uh, Wake Up Little Susie, uh, Slip Sliding Away. Coca Chrome, Bridge Over Trouble Water, The Boxer, and Sound of Silence, and a couple more. A very good concert. Then, as a supplement to my other uh, Springsteen Life album, here is um, Light from New York. Uh, it, this one includes uh, uh, six additional performances like uh, Lost in the Flood, Back. Born in the USA, Don't Look Back, Jungle Land, uh, If I Could, what was this here? If I Should Fall Behind, and Ramrod. So, uh, it's a supplement to the live albums it's called 7581. Fleetwood Max, Masterpiece, Rumors. I got that. You have all the go your own way, don't stop, dreams, um, oh daddy. I mean, this is just a fantastic album. Then you got Fleetwood Mac Live. Um, here you got Sunday, Monday morning, dreams, oh well, over and over, Sarah, never going back again, landslide, uh, go your own way, don't stop, the farmer's daughter. I mean, fantastic album and a, a live concert which I actually saw live in 1980 in Frankfurt in uh, so with 35,000 other people so uh, may, it's a trip down memory lane then I got Uriah Heep um, and this is uh, Sweet Freedom uh, I like the numbers like Stealing, Sweet Freedom, uh, Circus, I mean there's also three bonus tracks, they have a original edited version of Stealing and Seven Stars as a previous unleashed released version. Um, then another live album here, The Who Live at Leeds and here you can, I mean, you get a lot of the, the early hits from them. Can't Explain, uh, Substitute, Happy Jack, uh, Summertime Blues, My Generation, Magic Boss, and you can just go. It's a good album. Production may not be the best, but it's okay. And then I think here we got the album of the Who, Who's Next. You got here Bob O'Reilly. You got. Uh, of course won't get fooled again but a lot of other very very good tunes so 16 tunes on this album is very very nice I think it's the best studio album that the Who ever made so I also went out to buy some prog rock and I got this one a Rillion Clutching at Straws um, it's a, it's a good, very decent album. It has a, it's everything is uh, about staying in hotels and living on the road. So I, I think that was a very nice buy. Then I went out, got Dream Theater from 2013, which is their uh, self-titled album, and it's uh, I like it. But I like this one more. This is Dream Theater, a Change of Seasons, which is in, it's, to me maybe the, one of the best albums. A really, very nice album. And then, of course, as I've uh, been a huge Yes fan, I went out and got uh, Relaya, the first one without uh, Rick Wakeman, but I still think it's a, it's a very good album. And then I got this one, Union, which features uh, John Anderson, Bill Bruford, Steve Howe, Tony Kaye, Trevor Rabin, Chris Guire, Rick Wakeman, and Alan White. That means it's most of the lineups during the uh, time of, uh, of yes, uh, at least the first 
two decades. And last, not least, I got this one. Uh, Rick Wakeman, A Return to the Center of the Earth. It's a fantastic uh, album. Uh, he has a lot of guest vocals, like Justin Haywood, Trevor Rabin, O.C. Osborne, Bonnie Tyler, Katrina, and I'll try to Les Kanik. I think Les Kanik. I think it's pronounced that way. And Tony Mitchell. Of course, it's uh, with the uh, Symphonic Orchestra in London and the uh, English Chamber Choir. So um, it's 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 really and he has a is a is a concept album like the first one, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Here the narrator is uh, Patrick Stewart from well known from Star Trek. I got one more thing and I have to go down here. I went out and bought this one. Here are Vive ZDs with the Canadian band Saga. Here's uh, In Transit, it's a live album. Sorry, it's Pleasure and the Pains. Uh, here's Transit, the live album. Then we got Worlds Apart, which I have in already. Silent Night, which I really liked exactly the first album I bought uh, on vinyl back in the day with Saga and here is uh, the last one the self-titled Saga from 1978 so that is what I got for this month let me have your comments and uh, thank you for looking and listening to my rambling around here um, if you like it uh, please subscribe and um, see you next time.